We begin with big breaking news. It has happened again. There's been another SpaceX mishap. A launch of the Starship Mega Rocket did not go off as planned, and debris like this had been seen across the skies in parts of South Florida. Good evening. I'm Martha Sigalski. Debris was seen in the skies over Miami and Sunny Isles Beach. There was even a brief ground stop at Orlando International Airport. It was lifted about two hours ago. We do have live team breaking news coverage for you tonight. We begin with Channel 9's Daryl Matthews. Lots of video, Daryl, being posted on social media tonight. Yeah, it really is, Martha. And this test flight comes after postponed plans for the launch on Monday due to undisclosed issues with the Super Heavy booster. Now, SpaceX said today they made several improvements to the spacecraft following January's mishap. And just last week, the FAA cleared Starship for launch. Now, tonight, I spoke with a retired Kennedy Space Center employee very close to what's going on who tells me seeing that explosion hits close to home for him. That ship is very large, very complex, and just one little thing goes wrong with it, and it's gonna, it's gonna do just what it's done. Nearly two months after an explosion sent flaming debris falling in the Turks and Caicos, SpaceX launching another Starship rocket test flight to release mock satellites into space. A lot of things that can go wrong that are evidently going wrong. Just 10 minutes into Thursday's flight, SpaceX lost control with the ship. The over 400-foot rocket blasted off from Texas just after 6.30. Everything was a go. And we just saw some engines go out. Until engines on the spacecraft started shutting down as it flew east over what was supposed to be a controlled entry over the Indian Ocean sending it into an out-of-control spin and debris ripping from the body of the ship, again falling into unknown destinations. It looked like to me it went in. If it didn't hit Kennedy, it went right out in the ocean just past it and, and hit in Canaveral Air Force Station. SpaceX saying on Twitter the vehicle experienced a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. The team immediately began coordinating with safety officials to implement pre-planned contingency responses. The explosion comes after SpaceX lost a Starship spacecraft in January after a mission control announced that it had lost all communications with the spacecraft eight and a half minutes after it blasted off. Debris from that launch was seen falling over Turks and Caicos in the Atlantic. I knew that it was a... Uh something coming back in, coming in re-entry back in, burning up. I didn't know exactly what it was. Now, while the Starship was lost, tonight's mission included the successful return and catch of the Super Heavy Booster, one of the most challenging aspects of the mission. SpaceX also says it is reviewing the data from tonight's flight's test to better understand the root cause. Live in the studio, Darrell Matthews, WFTV Tonight. All right, Darrell, thank you so much. Good news, it did not come any debris in our As far as we know, it didn't hit any land areas, mm -hmm. but we're still getting data, so. And you're here now to look at uh, more video of this. Yeah, that's in South Florida, and this thing was moving about 12,500 miles an hour as it started losing its attitude control and started breaking up. So it was moving really fast and would have gone from the Gulf to the Bahamas in about five minutes. So. It's moving pretty quick. As you say, hole in the mail. Hole in the mail. You can see it breaking up there. Let me walk. I'll show you okay, the path here, the path. Martha. Uh, they launched this out of Boca Chica, and they have this uh, path that takes it across this open part of the southern Gulf, across the Florida Straits, and they tried to just carve this path that would not rain debris down on anybody in case they were to have a problem. Obviously, it did last time, and we're kind of waiting to see what happened with it this time. But at an altitude of about 91 miles, it's a kind of a suborbital flight, a uh, speed of around 12,400 miles an hour until it started breaking apart, and then it starts falling, and then we get air resistance, it starts slowing down. Uh, but generally, the debris was very easily seen. I went outside. I couldn't see it here from Orlando looking south, but down in South Florida, with it being at a relatively low altitude, they were able to see it fairly well. And again, it did not rain down on any of Florida, but we could certainly see it above uh, ground level. Another show very similar to the breakup that we had uh, with the Starship 7 mission. Martha? All right, Tom, thank you. And we will continue to follow all the developments on this latest mishap on air and at WFTV.com. We're following new developments tonight in the murder of a beloved Titusville woman. Tonight, Titusville police are asking for the community's help 